Hey BookTube friends, what's up? I'm coming at you today with something I don't do very often on this channel and that is a book haul. So last weekend a friend and I went to Quail Ridge Books in Raleigh, North Carolina and we were able to meet the author Falka Joshi. We were there for a book talk and signing and um, this book The Perfumist of Paris is the third in her trilogy have to say I just started it and it's hitting the spot already um, she was so open and genuine and just lovely she really took the time to talk to everyone who was there and she answered a lot of questions and she told us some really cool stories about her adventures while researching this book she was able to visit a lot of these chemistry labs basically these perfume labs of these you know kind of high fashion houses while doing her research and i thought that was pretty funny considering she doesn't actually use perfume herself so kind of interesting but the beginning of each chapter she actually includes a little tidbit kind of a fun fact about one of the spices herbs or scents that are used in the perfume industry so i thought that was a really neat touch to this book so i'm excited for that but while we were there of course when in rome what do you do you buy some books uh i've been eyeing this one for a little bit it was just a matter of time before i picked it up the First Kennedys, The Humble Roots of an American Dynasty by Neil Thompson. I believe this book will give us a peek into the Irish immigrant experience during the potato famine. And I'm excited to learn a little bit more about PJ Kennedy because I do feel like a lot of JFK's kind of values and personality um, was influenced by his two grandfathers. So I'm thinking that this book might affirm that thought for me. Um, the other books that I picked up are all horror books. Um, the uh, kind of funny, my light went out when I said horror books. So we're just, we're just going to keep the, the dark ambiance. Um, let's just go with it at this point. Uh, guys <laughs> i did not plan that did not plan that at all um when things get dark is a short story collection inspired by shirley jackson i saw this looked at the list of kind of who's who authors on the front and figured there was bound to be um some good stuff in this so excited for that the next one is the dead hours of night stories by lisa tuttle this cover just kind of drew me in and i was already committed to buying some short stories so kind of going with that theme this one uh, in a lonely place by carl edward wagner is pretty cool um, this author is considered one of the greatest horror writers um, of the modern era but a lot of his stuff has been out of print or very difficult to find so I was intrigued by this I do know that one of his short stories is kind of rumored to be the inspiration behind the Blair Witch Project so we shall see and the last book I picked up was Come Closer by Sarah Gran. This book kind of plays on the idea of possession versus mental illness. And I've read one book this past year that kind of has a similar theme and that was in the grip of it. And I really enjoyed that book. So I'm hoping that this one is a winner as well. It's pretty, pretty slim. So um, I think it's one of those books I will pick up when I get into a reading slump. So you guys shoot me a comment. Let me know if you have purchased any neat books recently or if you've met any um, nice authors lately. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day and <laughs> 
sorry for the lighting issue there. I haven't actually filmed a video like this in a while, so my equipment wasn't charged up. So yeah, there you go. Uh, but hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching.